Hi, this is Smita Dev and welcome to Get Curried. Today I just thought of doing something different. Rather than showing the same curries, I thought let me show you a fusion recipe that I have made on this weekend and it turned out just awesome. It's basically chicken cooked with malga puri powder and I served it in lettuce cups. So let's see how to make this. Let's prepare the chicken first. I'm going to heat a tablespoon of oil. Once the oil is hot, we're going to add one inch of ginger that's finely chopped, five to six cloves of garlic that are finely chopped. And we're going to just saute this for a minute. I love the aroma of fried ginger and garlic. Okay, now we're going to add chicken to this. Here I have half a kg of boneless chicken, which I've cut into small cubes. We're going to add this. And on a high flame, we're going to sear this. As you can see, the color of the chicken is changed. I'm going to add some salt. Quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder a teaspoon of red chilli powder and two tablespoons of malga pori powder this powder should be easily available in your local store now let's mix this well the recipe of the malga pori will be given in the description so please go through it I'm not going to reduce the flame here I'm going to keep it on a high and normally boneless chicken does not take too long to cook so another three to four minutes this chicken will be done the chicken hasn't taken too long to cook barely four to five minutes let's drizzle some lemon juice now give it a final stir Let's keep this aside and make the filling for the lettuce cups. For that, I'm going to heat a tablespoon of oil. The oil is nice and hot. Let's add half a teaspoon of garlic paste. Just saute this garlic paste for a few seconds. And now I'm going to add a cup of corn niblets. a cup of finely chopped carrots and a cup of finely chopped french beans keep the flame slightly high and just cook this for 2 to 3 minutes now let's add quarter cup of finely chopped celery stem this gives an amazing flavor to this dish let's sprinkle some salt some pepper powder mix this well we're going to cook these vegetables till the corn is done and the carrots and the beans nice and crisp this whole process shouldn't take more than 5 minutes the vegetables are done let's remove this in a bowl The chicken is done as well. Let's put it in a bowl. And now let's quickly make the hung curd dressing. For that, I have got half a cup of hung curd. Basically, I took about half a kg of yogurt and I tied it in a muslin cloth for about 4 hours. And this is the final product. It's nice and thick. Now to this hung curd, we're going to add a tablespoon of cream, one small onion that is finely chopped, quarter cup of finely chopped bell pepper, a little less than quarter teaspoon of garlic paste, some pepper powder and some salt to taste. And I'm going to whisk this well, mix it together. Now let's remove this 
in a bowl. So the chicken is ready, the stuffing is ready and the hunker dressing is ready as well. Here I have a few lettuce leaves that I've cut into cups. Now let's assemble this dish. So first, a tablespoon of the vegetable mixture. Now let's put some hunkered on this. Now let's put this spicy hot chicken on this. And our malga podi chicken with the lettuce cups is ready to be served. You can make a vegetarian version of this by using cottage cheese or potatoes. So do try this recipe. I hope you like it. Keep watching Get Curry.